Present. Marion? Yep. Uh, Richard? Present. Roger? Present. Michael? Present. <clears throat> and Sharon is, is missing, and John Brunel. So. Public input. Is there any public input this evening? John. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good evening. Hmm? Is this funny about an LIT Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Latch, uh, Citizen, 10 McElwain Drive, Litchfield, New Hampshire. Uh, good evening. Um, I would like to talk to the Conservation Commission tonight about um, <clears throat> two issues. Uh, one is the citizen and, and one is the chairman of the Litchfield Mosquito Control District. Um, first, I would like to bring to your attention, if you know or have not heard, um, I was reading in the Manchester Union Leader uh, last week about a possibility of a natural gas pipeline coming through our town, um, as well as other surrounding towns uh, like Londonderry and Hudson, um, and ending up in northern Massachusetts, uh, specifically Drake in Massachusetts. Um, I, as a resident of the uh, town, am opposed to such a project uh, taking place. Uh, the Tennessee Gas Pipeline Company said that the, the route would take place near or at the, uh, the power lines. Uh, one of the power lines uh, that comes to my attention, if you think about it, uh, is the power lines that are directly behind the uh, Litchfield Middle School, which would place the, place the uh, lines within yards of the, uh, the middle school. Excuse me, but is that... <coughs> Is that the area? Is that the is that the power line they're going to use? I thought it was the bigger one. On one of there's actually there's actually that's one of them that's being considered. Obviously, oh, still Yeah, all of them are up for consideration, mm -hmm. and uh, possibly going through our conservation land. Uh, gas passing through this pipeline would not have been uh, is would not have been purified. It would not. It would contain residues and chemicals used in the fracking process. And also, it would not have an odorant added to it at that particular time to aid in uh, leak detection. The town of Hollis has already opposed uh, this issue coming through their town as well, as other towns in New Hampshire. Uh, I ask as a resident to please watch this issue closely with the Board of Selectmen and attend any meetings on this issue. Ask questions, get as much information as possible to make a rational decision because your input has a lot of weight to it. Uh, now I'd like to say John Latcher, Chairman of the Litchfield Mosquito Control District, 10 McElwain Drive, Litchfield, New Hampshire. Well, can we talk about the first issue? For sure, yep. Yeah. I tried to find information on it online. I couldn't find a whole lot, except I think Milford's vehemently opposed to it. Yeah, if you look you at know, I mean, is it going to be above ground? No, it would be in the Excuse ground. me? I didn't hear you. The pipe. It's, it's below ground? Below ground, below right. Ground. On the right away. Where are you getting your information? I'm just curious. I'm getting my information from the uh, Hollis website. If you look on, on the town of Hollis, there's a bunch of information on there. Okay. Uh, the Board of Selectmen passed a resolution, resolution opposing it. Plus, they, from what I've heard, uh, is that the town of Litchfield may possibly put it up to a town vote, whether they want it or not. Do you know um, how imminent is anything? Uh, well, this is obviously the early stages of the process. Um, they said that the, you know, it could take up to a year to actually happen or start to happen. That's so, it's just yeah. So it's just a, you know, just like the. Bring that to everybody's attention because it could possibly they were at the town of Hollis actually from what I from what I read is they were concerned about it going through where they people have wells and stuff like that the, the, the residents were concerned about that and also they wanted to protect their conservation land too so that be the brook area yeah. right mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. yeah thank you you're welcome any other questions am I able to help somebody you know? okay great uh, John Latcher, founder and chairman of the Litchfield Mosquito Control District, 10 McAlwain Drive, Litchfield, New Hampshire. Um, the Litchfield Mosquito Control District uh, would, would like to try and eliminate mosquitoes by using another way. Uh, we'd like to purchase uh, two bat boxes 
They're about $150 each. They're specifically, they come out of Pennsylvania. They're specifically designed to attract bats. Um, they're not made by uh, any other manufacturer. This manufacturer is known to, to, to have the bats attract to, the, to this particular box. Um, the boxes are pretty resilient. They say they can last over 20 years, maintenance free. Um, they go on a 20 foot wooden pole. If they attach, they, that's how they're attached. Um, would, I would like the Conservation Commission to possibly maybe purchase another two if they would consider doing that. Who's the manufacturer? Do you know? It's called the Bat Can. It's out of Pennsylvania. Bat Can? Can. K -A, uh, C A N. Okay. Can, yeah. And as I said, we'd like maybe the Conservation Commission maybe to consider purchasing maybe two more. Um, what is the price of these? One, around $150 each. Yeah. Does it come with the pole? No. Um, and we'd also like to work with the Conservation Commission as far as uh, the locations to put these, the best place around town where we could possibly put these that would attract the bats. Um, because I don't know anything about where to put them. <laughs> and I don't know if, and I don't know if, if there's somebody from maybe from the state that might be able to help you with that or. I get Bat Conservation International Mail weekly. Oh, okay. She's our bad. She's our bad authority. Okay. All right. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I really we really appreciate working with you as as we have from the very beginning of the Mosquito Control District. Um, We've always, we've had Joan on our board. Right. Uh, we've enjoyed having her on as well as others. And uh, we'd like to work co closely with you on other things. And this is one of them. Good. So I think we'll take it under advisement at this point and talk about it later. Very good. Yeah. Now, did you put that money in your budget? For yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. And it, and it already went passed through the budget committee. Mm -hmm. So yeah. do they have to make, make them or are they on the shelf? Are they a shelf item? item? You just call up and order them type of thing? Yeah, you call up and order them, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like I said, they're very resilient from what they said. That they could last over 20 years. And as far as the droppings and stuff, the droppings fall out of it onto the ground. So there isn't going to be any buildup or anything in the units itself. So it's just something that we can uh, use, you know. Maybe they do. must have a website, this company. Yes, they do. If you look, if you look it up, yeah, I was going to have the information tonight, but my computer isn't working. So, <laughs> okay. any other questions? Thank you for coming in, John. Appreciate Thank you. Your input Happy holidays to all of you and your family. Thank, Thank you, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see the orange fence has been installed. Yay! Yeah, very good. Mm. Um, I finally got the right. Length stakes, <clears throat> first ones I bought too short to come out. Um, we, put, we put it so people could still walk around it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I went back this afternoon and took pictures just so that for our own sake we know that it was up right. and mm -hmm. we have the date and everything. <clears throat> uh, hopefully we'll stay up more than the weekend. Now, did we have to purchase the items or this? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. It's 40, about 42 dollars okay. altogether. Glenn, I held the fence. Oh, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> Didn't know it took us about 40 minutes. It was long at all. Did you see where somebody's been driving over the chain? Oh, yeah, the police officer caught and stopped me Sunday to tell me someone's been driving over the chain. Over the chain? Yeah. 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 I grew up at this afternoon and there's ATV tracks all over the place. Well, I mm -hmm. guess it's ATV. It doesn't look wide enough for a truck. They said, what, it appears that one of them, it actually was a regular car or truck that went over the chain when the snow was right. higher, said he said. Oh. Because mm. they were doing donuts on the top field. That's where it should be right now. So I don't know. Because we, we can figure out where they came in, but now that makes sense if the snow was high enough. They could get yeah, just went right over. Yeah, they went right over. Raise the chain up, I mean, pull it tighter. Well, it's attached to the rocks. Do you think it would yeah. go any higher? I don't think so. Higher, but the only way it could go higher would be to pull the link together and <laughs> put a paddle on it. I don't think you can. The, no. the rocks are, not, are only like three. Yeah, yeah and no. it had pulled out once before. Yeah, Somebody right. had fixed it. I, I think what we ought to do in the spring is, is put like two big metal poles or something yeah. or other with, mm -hmm. a, with a good wire mm -hmm. across it. Yeah. You can't put a wire. Well, you know, with a... <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on putting something, but <laughs> the liability of somebody just driving across with a four-wheel is a wire. Yeah, <laughs>
You put it so it's visible. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we need yeah. to do something with it, a little more permanent. The counter for spring, uh, bed venting. Because I, I could remove the rocks so that they couldn't get through there. Right. It didn't look like they were coming. Of course, they can come in from St. Francis if they really wanted to. But there right. weren't any tire tracks. Well, a lot of the snow's gone, so I can't really tell. There was a lot, though, over on our piece mm -hmm. tracks. The sinkhole looks a little bit deeper. Um, we unfortunately did not hear anything back from Mr. Malone, Mr. Colby. I guess it must be a pretty low profile farm, I mean, a little priority farm. Mm -hmm. You know, I would think that the liability yeah, would, would, would be on them. It would be, it actually yeah. is. No, they, they never responded to our request. I still believe the lease is requiring their approval. I mean, I think we need good faith attempts, yeah. given the fact that we're getting no input or mm -hmm. direction from them. And yeah. They really control the show here, I think. Yeah. yeah. Now, who is the actual relative now? The, the ones out on the West Coast? The only ones left? Well, Shirley Leonard. Is Shirley still? She's still functioning? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And um, who else is here? Yeah. Anybody? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I can find out why. Okay, do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. My brother in law is yeah. calling me. Your brother in law is Really? I married my sister, Polly. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, it's Pearly's, Pearl, one of Pearly's sons. Oh, okay, okay, sure. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, that's your, that's your special assignment then. <laughs> yeah. Keep it in the family. Two yeah. things that more small the fencing and uh, uh, the vehicle activity. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not 20 trees. There was one tree down, but it's not all the way across the path. A lot of small stuff sticks and stuff down, which can just drive away. And uh, yeah, didn't get too bad, didn't get. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thereupon, no foil. <clears throat> okay, um, we never, I guess, actually voted um, that whole amount to come out of the fund. Mm -hmm. I thought we did. We just need a vote. I thought we did too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, I, I didn't vote, but I thought you guys would vote. Yeah. We, I think we voted, because I looked back, we voted to do it. Mm -hmm. So that and means we did that it. Fund, but maybe not the amount. Oh, oh, and then, no, we originally, I, I think we approved the uh, initial down payment. Right, the initial 1500 to get started. Right? Yeah, that was it. but not the whole amount. So not the whole needs, amount. The accounting people need the, the whole amount. Okay. A motion. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion that we... Hey, that we authorize that $7,500 to come out of the um, conservation land fund to pay for the oh, gallery yeah. fund. And the so has, the, has this bill been paid? Yes. Okay, so we just have to make sure it's authorized. And right. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, okay. Yeah. moving second in. And, um, Any questions? The, the, the 1500 is that it's subtracted? No, it's all in there. So okay. It's just that total number. The total number is 7500 mm -hmm. Roger second. Mm -hmm. Moved and seconded. Any questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. One abstention. Okay. We have some news on the chart. <laughs> we have news on the what? The grassy uh, carp. Oh, the fish. Mm. So I called um, or I emailed the guy at Fisheries in Hampshire Fisheries, and he was going to investigate it further. Um, I haven't heard anything back, but. Yeah, and uh, other people that knew more about uh, mm -hmm. so did he did he sound promising or was he just adamant like he wasn't adamant but that it's not right now it's not legal in New Hampshire to release anything like that mm -hmm. and he did say something about oh, I'm sorry, I should have put it in email maybe I did um, I, I don't know they haven't had much luck with it oh here it is right here on uh, November 14th I he said, this is from John McGee, New Hampshire Fishing Game. I will speak to others at Fishing Game about grass carp, and then we'll get back to you. The Fishing Game Commission opposed the introduction of grass carp during a bill hearing about 10 or so years ago. I think I had that correct. Because there wa that was a legislative matter. I should first speak to others at Fishing Game before I get back to you. Legislative matters are under the authority of the Fishing Game Commission, which has Ten members, one from each county, and a somewhat separate body from the New Hampshire Fishing Game Department. The commission sets the department's policies and provides the department's opinion on legisl legislative matters. 
DES has done a very good job informing the public about the dangers of non-native species, and one of the messages is that non-native species have a tendency to escape from the original location, and they often lead to unexpected consequences. <coughs> and he asks, um, is Jarrah Pond heavily used for swimming, boating, and fishing, and does anyone know why the lowly milfoil has become so dense there? It sounds like its high density is relatively recent. Is that correct? I think it is relatively recent, isn't it? No, it's been, it's been 10 years. I mean, I can remember, you know, Bill, the bike rider there, complaining to me back 10 years ago about the, how he couldn't swim across the pond without getting in trouble because it was wrapped around his leg. So okay. I'm, I'm going back 10 years ago. So it's, I mean, I'm sure it's intensifying, but it's, it's been pretty intense for a good 10 years now. Okay, well, that was November 14th, and uh, he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Mm -hmm. Well, on the escaping thing, unless it takes one Drives off with it. It is a kettle pond. Right. So that, that is, it's not, it's not and I, I know exactly what you're saying. But people I've known sometimes to transplant fish, they, you know, in, well intended. They, they'll take it out well, in I've a had bucket. people put fish to, that try to eat mosquito. They think the fish are going to mosquitoes right. in these little like, <coughs> rocky hill ponds. Oh really? Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. You really shouldn't do that. Yeah. But the thing of it is, these, these have been around now long enough. And, and, and you said New York State. New York State, up, upstate New York, I believe, uh, they, from one of the things that I, I gave you, they use it up there. Uh, and, and these fish are sterile. So, I, yeah. I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's no chance of them doing anything other than living and dying. Just eating. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully we can get some. Maybe <coughs> something they need to read. Us, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know how we would go about would we have to enter a motion? Uh, well, we'd have to deal with somebody like Frank, I guess, and get him in the state yeah, legislature. It sounds like the So this would be a long dragged out. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we'd probably all be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the boat into the river. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. So that's the scoop. Okay. Uh, the next one we're skipping. Okay. New business. Have something in place of that. Okay. Oh, in place of that. All right. Which is actually the whole business. Um, this widget subdivision. Yep. He re they rearranged it. They're actually finally coming in for planning board acceptance December 16th. Notice is going out tomorrow again mm -hmm. before Mr. Wilson came to the last meeting. Um, they got 11 lots now. What's the day of before? 10. 10, okay. And uh, nothing's Probably really changed. Group. Yeah, it's a bigger piece of land. <laughs> well, now they're, go they're going to bring water up, so mm -hmm. getting that extra lot of for them paying for the water. Mm -hmm. I found the trolley track. I'm so happy. Oh, you finally found <laughs> it. Did you uh, walk under and it? And you found the little bridge and everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to stop, get out of my car. Wow. <laughs> you could have taken her down and taken her by well, hand. Huh? It would be hard to see because it's lower than the elevation of the road, really. You gotta get well, in that path. area, is, I, I've been by there a hundred times since we talked. Yeah, me too. And it's really overgrown. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. not yeah. like it was yeah. when, yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, see, her car's, her car's too low. See, she can't uh -huh. see things like that. Yeah. I talked to Larry Olson today, and he remember, he said they used to raise shiners. Was it shiners? Yes. Yeah. 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 I told you they had a shiner yeah. box over yeah. there for yeah. years. Yeah, he said that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fish fishing. And uh, uh, he film. said, well, they did, he agreed to when they developed all that, they rerouted some things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when Charlie Wright owned, uh, um, what was the sporting goods store? Sporting goods store. I can't think of it now. Uh, the one in Hudson, right? The, yeah, right yeah, the bridge. yeah. Bob, it was Bob Green at one time. It was, yeah. But he came. had one down there, too. A, yeah. a shiner box. Mm -hmm. They used to sell shiners mm -hmm. in, a, in a winter for ice yeah. fishing. Yeah. What he says, people, something about the people came, I can't remember now what he was saying about people came up in boats. No, 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 it was never, it was never that, that no. Never that navigationable, no, no. Okay, forget that. Fishable and keeping your shiner box Family Sports Center. Tam yeah, Family well, Sports Center. Family, family Sports, Sports Center. Center. It's right at the bridge in Hudson. It's when the old, the old 20th century used to be at Taylor Falls. I don't know if you, if you were here back yeah. when that was here, before they reconfigured the bridges. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Just a couple years ago. Roger had all his hair in those days, too. <laughs> I thought it was interesting talking to Larry Olson. And, you know, we remember we taped, or somebody taped Candace and Chief Campbell back, way back when we had the, some... I heard somebody did. Yeah, that's right. That was the time we met at Pond. Yeah, right. When Adrian Labrie was there and... Uh, was it a historical society? It was no, some, it was no, when it was we had 
like a 250th or We found the dedication of the Dare Point building of the uh, something yeah, Because I know Hudson Hudson has done that with mm -hmm. their older citizens. Well, we should do that with like now Larry Olson Pat to it. Mm -hmm. get them talking. It's, it's well, I was not that old. Mm -hmm. I know. Right. Well, I was, he's my age. My age. <laughs> <laughs> age. What a wise guy she is. <laughs> but, he, but you would mm -hmm. have been here. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And Pat knows just about anything about it. You know. Yeah. Sometimes they don't get it exactly right. No, but you know, <laughs> but, but, but it's interesting but, to hear. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we still haven't, the, I haven't really looked at the covenants of anybody else. Well, I revised them from our last discussion of them, but remember we got sort of hung up on um, whether or not we we're going to deal with the boat land. Mm -hmm. And that will drive what language is in or out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's sort of left off. Did you revise them since? The well, I give you a new version, but um, it's sort of the still still the same issue is uh, whether we have language in about the boat. So on page two at the top, you basically you'd be dealing with subsections two and three, I think. Sorry. So I'm at. Coming down. I just hogged in. <laughs> so yeah, top of page two. Subsection two is for roads, but I don't know, would you want roads if we don't have roads? Mm -hmm. No, we don't want any roads. No, yeah, no. We're basically, if you go to page one, we're, we're limiting it to... Now, is this just for the new property? Or just it's just for the new one, but I mean, basically, I think a town council would have to approve it. Yeah. Um, but you could use, this is almost as like a, a template. You can mm -hmm. take out the specific language, you know, dealing with this property about the boat ramp and it being agricultural. We just adapt it to each piece. Right. But, the format is pretty much, I think, would be the same. You could, you know, just just start out with the recitals mm -hmm. and say, um, like, number one on the bottom yep. there, the property shall be deemed purchased by conservation funds appropriated in the way, blah, yep. blah. That was the main point we wanted to make, is right. that we use conservation I was, funds. I was purchased, yeah. Yeah, and then, then the second paragraph at the bottom, you know, gets into any specific limitations or whatever, which is property, you know, from wood, long limit to agriculture and possibly other things. And then the rest of it, I think, is probably pretty much the so same. In the, on this first section, where it has I and then double I, so these would be allowed structures used exclusively for farming and agriculture? Well, that was brought up. I thought that was what everyone wanted to put in at the last meeting, is we wanted to allow structures for, right. for farming and agriculture. Mm -hmm. Improvements pertaining to the development of road or roads thereon, and structures improvements pertaining to road or other access to land that method. So two, uh, sub, you know, the two little lie and three little lie. Again, I, I don't know. Do we do we want to do we want to allow roads if we don't have a boat ramp? Or? Well, I, I think we should leave that in. I think we should leave that too, because what if you want to put a boat access in later, you need a road to get there. I mean, it's not like a highway. It's right. yeah, unapproved road. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. maybe it's just you know three little lie that comes out or something. But then, yeah, depending on what you want to do with the boat ramp. Mm -hmm. Well, would, would structures and improvements pertaining to a boat or other access, would that cover item two? No, because um, two is just basically a road of roads. You know, you're allowed to put a road of roads in for whatever use. Okay. And three is specifically structures. For? And, you know, whatever you put in to, to have a boat ramp, I guess, basically. I would leave it as is. Yeah. But basically, I mean, that what I'm trying to accomplish is you're setting out that it's purchased by conservation funds. It's going to yeah. be limited to these conservation uses of what you know what we otherwise say, and then you can't change it, you know, unless you, you get on the, the second page. Uh, at least 75 percent majority vote of the conservation commission is required for the changes, and then it has to be also approved by majority vote of the board. Right. Yeah, so I mean, there you, it does allow for change, but. The conservation commission would almost overwhelmingly have to overwhelmingly approve it. So I let you know, I would probably leave out, you know, room for maybe one. Yeah, yeah. If there's somebody to send them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you continue your motion to send this to council. I think it's a good. Yeah, I think we should send it to council to see what you know. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. I don't. I don't necessarily think we need a motion, but I will. I will entertain one if you want, just to make it. Totally legal. No, that's good. Just okay. Awesome. So it's not following it up then and then we go from there see if you recommend any, mm -hmm. any changes. Hey, have you looked at any other towns around to see if they have anything similar to this? 
Well, that's pretty much where I got it from. <laughs> okay, that's all right. No, I, that, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't we meant to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, good. Good work. So we're still not mm -hmm. going to do anything. Else. No, we don't have to do anything. We have to do anything. Just, no. I just. Yeah. Just as a point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's right at the town line, goes through the subdivision. So what percentage of it actually is in Litchfield? About half. Just about half. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the line. Okay. The, but all the driveways, all the driveways actually come in from Hudson. Well, I keep maintaining it. it's got to have all Hudson addresses because yeah, it has to. It um the road is totally in Hudson. Mm -hmm. But now if the houses are in Litchfield, would the kids go to Litchfield School? Would they have a Hudson address? Mm -hmm. They physically live in Litchfield. So Andy Perlman is working with all the chiefs of Hudson and Litchfield to get it straightened out. Because the police department needs to know where the house will be. But as the building inspector said, when they pull the building permit, we'll know which town the house is going to be in. Mm -hmm. Because well, the MF police is jurisdictional. They need to know where the Yeah, right. Is. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I guess they do, but I mean, under, under mutual aid, I mean, I think that. Uh, well, for fire. It, we're not worried. Oh, I'm not worried because it's mutual aid. Mm -hmm. But, but for police as well, they do mutual aid. She said, "No, if there's a domestic, they cannot go into Hudson. They cannot. If it's in another town, they can't deal with it. Unless yeah, the, that, those, those laws have changed since my day. Unless the yeah. top officer on duty that day calls them specifically. Well, that's what you normally would do in a circumstance like that. You, know, you need assistance, and uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know that 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 you know, that's. That's not our jurisdiction. I'll let them worry right, about right. it. Right. Mm. Um, you know, waiting with bated breath to see how yeah. the, the yeah. Um, street numbers work out. Yeah, because I mean, the way that line is dividing it, I mean, actually, every driveway comes in off from off from the road that's physically in Hudson. Part of the yeah, part of every, everybody's funny. Their driveway is actually in Hudson, totally and the houses right. are in Litchfield. Yeah. Mm. Where are they running the water line from, Annadale? No, that's from south. Really? It's what? From the south. From you know, coming up from the south. Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Going into Plaza Drive? Uh, yeah, I think it goes into Plaza Drive. Yeah, so it's only actually it's a very short distance well, from Plaza yeah. Drive. Well, I guess it was. They said it was equal from India or from that side. Well, I thought women. No, isn't it going to Olsen's? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they ran water in Olsen's. Yeah, but it runs down through uh, Duval's oh, property. Comes through the back. Oh, that's right, the back side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how India got water through the back. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, will they be running sewer down there? No. No. Because the sewer runs almost uh, well. My where uh, your dad's old house used yeah. to be. Because the they run sewer on uh, town sewer. They run town sewer. Yeah. But if that's was smart, they'd make them hook in sewer too. Well, mm. it could be, could be capacity. Mm. Mm. Then they probably have to put a lift station or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So that's okay. Really Item number two. New business. Wet line violation off from Hillcrest Road. Okay, so we had um, October 14th, the police officer went out there and spoke with the individual, and they were unaware that it was a wetland, and they um, were not going to be out there again. Then on November something, and a buyer came in, talked to me. They're out there again. So I went out again, took more pictures. They had put planks across the running water park. Oh, okay. <laughs> to get I yanked the planks and just tossed them on the side. And um, I talked to the police officer. <laughs> police officer and the police said, no, I'm not going back out there again. You said you were going to call the state. Call the state. Yeah. So I did. <laughs> so I brought up the whole complaint. She said there's a form. I made up the whole form, gave them the tax map, gave them all the information, and they sent this letter. Um, the Department of Environmental Services, I won't mention the person's name, has yeah. received a complaint alleging that you have been riding through and riding a wetland adjacent to your house on town property by use of an all-terrain vehicle. This letter is to notify you of this complaint and to provide you with an opportunity to respond if your 
activity. If you are conducting such activities, we request that you voluntarily, voluntarily refrain from doing so in the future as to avoid potential enforcement action. And then please feel free to contact them. Okay, easy. Yep. I was going yeah. to say, that's a threat? Wow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, too. So I haven't heard any more news from out there, but keep an eye on the situation. Okay. Oh, We're this, good. <coughs> this is other new business. I looked up, um, when we went to the annual meeting, our forester was there. He set up a website, NewHampshireBugs.org. NewHampshireBugs.org. Oh. And emerald ash borer is a real problem in southern New Hampshire. These darker areas of where it actually is, then there's a potential expansion area, and this is on the website, and that lighter gray, darker gray, and then the quarantine area is the trees. black outline. And they have good pictures on the website. Mm -hmm. The big, the big thing is do not move firewood. So the indicating area of Salem, is that the? Uh, yeah, Salem had, mm -hmm. had confirmed spot. It's amazing how, you know, we, you, you would think it would come from Massachusetts. It just work its way. Yeah, whereas it, it's Giant like, jumps. Yeah. I mean, that's just barely far away from here. Yeah, Hopkinton and, you know, Pembroke. Pembroke, yeah. Mm -hmm. Canterbury. Um, and they had on the website also good pictures of how to identify ash trees. Mm -hmm. You wonder where there's a lot of camping or whatever that goes that's, on. That's what I was there. wondering. Yeah. You wonder if people have you know brought wood up. Yeah. I was thinking like uh, I was thinking like if it was down in Ellistown, I would have thought like Bearbrook State Park or you know places like yeah. that. But I don't know. Well, yeah, but you figure like up in Loudon where where they have camp, uh, the that, that's races, where the a lot of camping, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be that would be a good prime reason for that area there because the people carry stuff with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Canterbury and Loudon. Yeah, okay. But I mostly just wanted to tell you about that website. It's very good. Mm -hmm. So it's NewHampshireBugs.org. Right. Dot org. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. One twelve stage crossing access. Mm -hmm. Was Sunday. Twelve Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, no, Monday was Monday. twelve one. That's what I thought, yeah. Monday was twelve one. Okay. Today's the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> we all agreed on so we're going to change it. We walked up there to um, stage crossing, took a picture. Good. At the access, didn't trump in there because it was too snowy, but um, probably should get in there to see what trees are down that trail. But at least we did, you know. Make an appearance and Make get it registered. Took a yeah. mm -hmm. Very good. Rainfall report. Roger. We had 3.75 inches of precipitation. We had 10 inches of snow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking of where, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, in Buffalo. <laughs> they said the According to the website I looked at, they said the average rainfall is four inches for the month, and the average snowfall is two. So we're so up on one and down on the other. Hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Roger, for your effort. There's some equipment that I'd like to order that would help me out in, in, in taking the weather. Uh, I got some addresses from a uh, state agency, or actually federal, it's from NOAA, uh, that I kind of like to buy, but I, I need to get some prices. Okay, I'm glad you brought that up because we um, were told by a member of the budget committee that we should go back in there and try and get that $750 back in our budget. So we can either go back to the budget committee, which, you know, we're that's one option. Or well, actually, they've already moved on to the school budget now. Mm -hmm. Or another option is go to a little bit of session and get an amendment, which if we want to do the bat boxes, we're going to have to do that anyway. I was going to say, I think if I think if we have enough documentation, I think we need to do it on the floor. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be my personal opinion. Uh, I know we have a couple of supporters on the budget committee would speak on our behalf. I know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I personally, I really like these bat boxes. Uh, I, I've built them 
and put them around my house. I haven't had much success in getting them in within the last, yeah, they, they say that uh, it takes years actually. But with the decline of the bat population, last year, I think last summer was the first summer I actually saw maybe four or five, you know, would come out at night, but before we used to get plastered with them. Yeah. But, well, normally Arthur's, normally Arthur's barn, they come out of Arthur's barn, you know, but we, we haven't seen it for two years. I mean, mm -hmm. really? There might have been one, might have been one or two last year, but I mean, it was yeah. at the dusk, and but we used to see them every night. They'd be, you know, oh, yeah. all summer long, there'd be just, you know, well, 10, 15 of them coming out, but there's been none hardly. Yeah. <clears throat> the biggest part of that whole bat box thing is getting a, a decent-sized pole in the ground to right. hold it up. Right. Unless you put it up in a, in a tree somewhere, but... Even then, you, you know, you've got to be 20 feet up in the air. Does that? We, have, we yeah. had one down at Brickyard, but there's been a lot of vandalism down at Brickyard, at Parker Park there. Mm -hmm. yep. And the, the bench is gone. I think the bat box is gone. It's really pretty sad. But yeah, I, I think we should support this idea. Yes. Do you want me to get prices on, on uh, some of that equipment? To, yeah. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Financial status of our budget. So we had we only spent forty dollars. So we're down to like two thirty three left. So two thirty three left. Okay. We should buy it. I was just gonna say we should buy something <laughs> out of our big budget. Well, we can we can come. No, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should do that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what's say about one hundred and fifty a piece? He said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's just to buy the box. Then we gotta get a pole. Yeah. So at least we should encumber enough for one, mm -hmm. and then. How tall is it? How tall? How tall does it have to be? They got to be twenty feet in the air. Yeah, they have to be up there. Tall pole, huh? I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Telescoping pole. No, because they, they got to be pretty heavy, so it has to be a pretty heavy pole. I mean, I, I would think black eye, black pipe, with a section in the middle, two ten oh, foot sections. Have a, a tree. This was the one at Africa was on a tree, but yeah. somebody did a. Or something. Mm -hmm. Ladder, big fire truck. We don't have an area. Yeah, we don't have a larry ladder. Mama. <laughs> yeah. so, a certain um, tree company might help us. They might. You never know. I'm not sure. It's questionable. Uh, I, I would tend to lean towards the two ten foot sections of a pole. Something I did with my uh, when I put my birdhouse up. I put a. A yeah, but down you have to be, this is, these things are probably pretty heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> They've got to be. Yeah, you got to get the specs on it, see what the okay. weight is on, what the, what the dimension is, so you get an idea of. Yeah. Oh, Richard, the one that was on the committee for a little while that one time, he had offered to use his bucket truck sometime if we needed it for something. Richard, sure. The one on uh, right Brickyard Drive on the corner, the, the sign guy. Oh yeah, he came in. Yeah, he uh, he came in for a couple of meetings. Yeah, yeah. that's Kyle. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah, he was Brickyard there. in in uh, yeah. Nakoma. Yeah, right. Yeah, right yeah. in the corner. Oh, he he has a he has a bucket truck. Yeah. yeah, he has a sign company in Massachusetts. It's not he, sure he, sign company. He was going to be on the committee for a while there, yeah, and then he decided he he, he couldn't or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty. But he did. He has offered. He's offered to me at different times in casual conversations that he might be willing to let you know. I mean, come down and do something with us with the bucket. So. Some reference to trying to get something like that up. Okay. Minutes. No oh, correspondence. I'm sorry. I'm jumping over. Uh, no, have any. Okay, moving on to minutes. Then. I managed to print, uh, print half a minute, but I couldn't get a whole minute. Half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get the thing down to the right size, so it's just cut everything in half. Yeah. <laughs> and it stopped it at number four. I didn't get beyond now, how that. How did I, let's see, I sent the, oh, I scanned these finally. Mm -hmm. See, mine came right out on Google Docs. You didn't have, do, do you have Gmail? No, you don't. No, it just popped up. Hmm. So you got it, you got it okay? Yeah, we'll see, yeah. Well, I sent it twice. I sent it, first I shared it from Google Drive, okay. which I didn't have much hopes on that. Mm -hmm. That came through on my phone. Really? <laughs> yeah, I have it on my emails on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Verizon? Yes. So do you have an extra copy of the minutes? Check those out. Uh, uh, I can't 
That's what the whole mask looks like. Did you get yours? Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess you're fit to be selected. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> uh, smart Is there any motions on the minutes? Any questions on the minutes? Looks fine to me. Motion that the minutes be approved as now written. I'll second. Moved and seconded. All in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Abstain? No, I'm abstaining. Because I wasn't abstain. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Here's, um, mm -hmm. here's public minutes just passing around. Okay. No, none publicly do not have to approve those, I do. Um, probably do. Would you? Mm -hmm. I don't think we probably have to. Yeah. I think so? I think because of the right to know. I think so. Mm -hmm. It's still non public, it's going to be sealed. Mm -hmm. So, do we need a motion? What? I guess we'll take one to just cover up. Yeah, itself. I think I think you have to. Yeah. Okay. Advice of counsel. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> I make a motion that we approve the non public meeting. It's a super it. secret. Counsel, <laughs> <laughs> you want to second that? <laughs> Everyone give a second. I'll second it. We'll second it. second it. We'll second All the people say aye. 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 <laughs> Richard moved and <laughs> Michael seconded. Okay. Just for having too much fun on there. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, unanimous. Okay, number seven. <clears throat> Other business. Bad news is. <laughs> we don't own the land anymore. Hmm? Um, huh? On this plan, they put on there the butter was stayed in New Hampshire. Right. But on our assessment cards, well, they used to be cards, not on the yeah. computer. Oh, they changed it to town of Litchfield. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They okay. just gave it to us. That's right. <laughs> what happened was there was a tax lien in 80, 86, and then it went to 88. The state took land by eminent domain in February of 89. They tax deeded it in May of 89. So it got on the books as town of Litchfield because it was a tax deed, but by then the state had already taken it by eminent domain. So we're hesitant to change the assessing information yet until Terry Town Clerk checks with um, DRA and town council.
to see did the state really have to pay taxes owed when they took it, or what does it mean? If they didn't pay the taxes when they were supposed now to, whose, then what? Now, whose property was that at that time? Uh, v P Street Park was V somebody. V it wasn't part of Hills Nursery? Maybe it was Because um, that was all part of the circumvention highway. Yeah, that's right, the path. Time. That's that's what the state where, took it. Where Annandale is, that was Hills Nursery. So I was just talking to Larry about this today. Right. That was Hills. Yes. And then. Between. Uh, the next piece down would be this piece, this mm -hmm. state. I, I thought that was still part of, of the. Well, that's all wooded now, but back then it probably was. Yeah, it used to be a field. Because he said he had some huge Christmas trees down in mm -hmm. And then who, I don't know who owned I wonder that. if Pat would remember when, when that was actually uh, an operating nursery. Well, Larry would. Because he, he was just telling me today about, because mm. it was Gene's well, father. I, yeah. yeah. I, well, I knew one of the boys. Uh, he was my cousin's age. We, we kind of hung around. The, Gene's still alive, right? Gene? Yeah. Is she? Well, well, after. She's kind of. Oh, yeah. Um. So that's the situation. We it's up in the, I'm pretty well. I'm sure that the state, because we found the um, notice of con condemnation, and well, let's condemn it again then. We'll take it by condemnation. <laughs> so we'll take it back from the state. Acres, but, it was, so then I called to see and she explained the whole thing. Oh, oh okay. How it came to be that way. <laughs> wow. So. Yeah, easy come, easy go. Yeah. Last week we had 37 acres. This week we get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I called the engineer and told him the story. Mm. Somehow they got town which you're running. They had to correct the thing. They had to stay in the mansion. <laughs> 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 well, well, does the state of New Hampshire yeah, yeah. actually inventory all the land that they own? Oh, I'm sure they do. And the engineering company, because they did a perimeter survey, and that's how they came up with the state of New Hampshire. They were going to call the state and see what the state record said, but I'm, I'm sure they enjoyed <laughs> everything. Hmm. Although when we went to the grassy pond thing, they didn't think they, they owned that. That's right, that's right. That was DES and some other department. So this would be, uh, and now is Nancy Mayville still oh, yeah. an item? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, just, I'm just thinking if, if it's something, if it's a can we want to kick or not. Or, I give her a call and just what can we what can we do? What just a curiosity, but you know what the story is on it. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe we could buy well, it from the state. Maybe we could buy it back. The right. engineering an company yeah. that did the survey is. I'll give him a call tomorrow morning and see when it's found out. Mm. But his surveyor was going to um, from Peach Nordstrom was going to hold the state, and then Terry was going to said that the tax collector said it should be up to the state to say they that they paid it. We're saying they didn't, they did pay it, so somebody else is playing on the Yeah, the big question would be, yeah, would they be liable or wouldn't they be liable? Well, that's, you know, they're going to ask for a attorney, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I would think that all, all the contractors are looking for a nice piece of land. I mean, what a piece. Yeah, that's <coughs> nice yeah. flat land. I mean, that's. Right down to the river? Yeah. Wow. But what, what do you mean? Because the state owns it, but they're not going to. Sell it. No, but I mean, yeah. where they got rid of all the other uh, that they've property. been selling off parcels, or the right guy just got the right kisser, but yeah, they can uh, pick that piece up. Yeah, <laughs> I could, I could see some, I could see certain ones picking that piece up. Yeah. Well, they still own parcels in Hudson, though. They've sold right? a lot of them off, though. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, like, didn't they own? The, they own the Danford property. They still do they that. Still do. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, like, up behind uh, Larry uh, Olson's trailer park. Where yeah, um, a swath that goes through that, that well, well, the bought, owns, they and the state owns too. But uh, is isn't there a, a, up on uh, Cutler Road there where it goes around the corner? I thought that's where it kind of came out. Oh, they were going to go over by where the church is. Too. Just well, well yeah, yeah then the south, of the, that. south of south of the church, we, that little house south of the church they own. The people they, and the town owns that corner by Cutler Road. Mm. Yeah, because they have plans to make Albuquerque come through the back of the houses on Cutler, like behind Jackson's house and. Hmm. Come out that way, yeah. Oh, well. So, that's that. Yeah. Well, thanks for the research. Yeah. It was interesting. There wasn't good results. Karen found a lot, a lot of stuff on, you know, in the registry, the, all the deeds and... Who did? Karen White in the Slippin's office. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The tax, yeah. Okay. The next yeah. meeting, uh, 
Unless you want to meet January 1st. <laughs> Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Bring champagne. Yeah, champagne. Yeah, champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Stay till good night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's a, a last note I have to tell you. The Christmas bird counts are coming up December 20th is Manchester's, which doesn't really affect you. December, December 20th. And the Nashua um, count is 27th, which Litchfield is in. I did the Litchfield count. So if you know of any hot bird feeder places, do you have a lot of bird feeders? I have one. I have four. Mm -hmm. I have more than that. Yeah. Straight in my front yard. So I'll be coming by for the end of the day counting your birds. We have a lot of cardinals. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh yeah. We got a few, but I don't get too many. Especially you? since uh, Manny Sue's is building that new project over there. The yeah. birds are all coming over to my house. <laughs> they caved yesterday. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. All the way out to that new section? It is amazing how much fill they brought in there. Well, I saw the trucks running, running. Oh, yeah. Then one truck got lost on pine bus. No, we're not on the truck on pine bus. One of Ricky's? Or? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I do say one thing. Like, that really attracted the birds. Yeah, Dan and Dale, he did a good job of filling because that whole lower field, that was, everything was literally going to be underwater if he hadn't filled that up. He must have, yeah. he must have brought in a million yards. <clears throat> I give the guy credit for that. Um, yeah, um, Lou was out there all day, and because uh, he stays when they pay, mm -hmm. he said it was marginal, but they really needed, it was yesterday or nothing. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. no, I know there was a lot of paving going on today, I know. Mm -hmm. I guess the state, uh, Lou said the state's paving today. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, there's a lot of going on. I was talking to Tate and talking about some paving, and they're all, all paving like mad. Mm -hmm. Now, are the, are the beers hibernating now? Should be. Because we haven't heard of any, any bear no, sightings heard anymore, no. in a week or so, a couple of weeks. Yeah, I've yeah, been a part of a month, I think. Yeah, because I know my, my neighbors, he, he went over there twice. To, oh, really? Yeah, she, well, she on had... Your, on your street? Or? Oh, yeah, my on, next door neighbor. On your side of the road? Yeah. She had the sweet cakes on the... Yeah. <laughs> and he oh. was going for those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. That would be a good car to come right down the brook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Down yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was down here after the storm, but I think it was just from the storm. Okay, next meeting is January 8th, and yep. I guess we, nobody wants to meet on New Year's Day. And so if we have no other business to come before us tonight, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Okay. All the favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We are hereby adjourned.